I took eight barstool employees out of the office to spend a week surviving in the wilderness. What they don't know is this week is going to turn into their worst nightmare. At the end of it all, one of them will walk away with $25,000, but they're gonna have to fuck some people over to get it. Dude, what? I'm your host, Adam Ferrone, and this is Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm. Let's have some fun. Vibs, you will be staying in the Mattress Firm mansion tonight. Bree, you will be joining the rest of the camp. The second I heard Vibs was staying in the mansion, I was like, fuck, I'm going home. Sydney? The floor is yours. I'm voting the person off who I think is the most dangerous, and that would be Brie. So as soon as I said Brie, she was mad, but she put her anger on Tommy and Jordan. Kind of had a feeling that was going to happen because her and Jordan are very paired up together. Jordan, can you be orchestrated? Can people tell you what to do? No one can tell me what to do. That is not true. Sydney's playing you like a puppet. Brie said that I was Sydney's puppet, which that's fine to think because at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to fly under the radar. I truly don't think anyone finds me a threat, and I like to keep it that way. I think Jordan will go far if Sydney goes far. I don't think Jordan really has any strategy in what she's doing. I think she's just listening to Sydney. Sydney's definitely just like playing her like a puppet. First two votes couldn't have gone better for me. There were two people in this game that had it out for me Billy Football and Brianna Chicken Fry. There's, you know, a lot of talk. You can't trust Tommy, he's a snake, he's gonna betray you. That's actually not true. If you work with me, I will be loyal to you to the end, and I will get us to the end. If you dare to cross me, I will make sure that you're out. So you have an option. If you can work with me or you can work against me, the better option is to work with me or I will come for you and I will kill you. Yeah, that was pretty intense, which I knew it was going to be. I knew it was gonna be not a good thing. I think Brianna, I mean, I think she still actually hates me more than you. <laughs> yeah, well, that is what it is at this point, you know? Right. But no, she tonight. You would like have been off. The second we have to get, uh, she was like, we got to split Sydney and Jordan up in the second. So she was telling me that, telling you guys final story. Yeah. She, no, I was really She calls me a snake. That was the biggest snake to move along. But the thing is, Brie never told me she wanted to go to the final three with me. She never tried to make a relationship. Right. So she just said that to Sydney because Sydney was the only yeah. one with power. She, she scares me. So I am starting to worry that Sass has pissed nobody off. <laughs> and like the, like people are just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll just vote for Sass because I like, like to win. No. Oh, you mean know. like the council? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I don't think the oh, yeah. council wants people just to win because I they can do anything. Be honest, I don't know. But at the end of the day, Brie wants someone who's actually like putting the work to win. Yeah. She, I think that would piss her off if Sass just won. Feels good to be back in the mansion, the mattress firm mansion. I mean, it was never in doubt. We knew we were coming back. We knew we were coming back. However, we didn't think Brianna wasn't going to be joining us. Me, Vibs, and Brianna all got a lot closer. I don't think I have any alliances, but it kind of felt like that was the closest thing I had to an alliance was Brianna and Vibs. So I lost one of those people. So I would say that's kind of a, a hit. Hopefully, it's not my last time here. Definitely going to unjunk my sleep tonight. Sass and I are running it back in the Mattress Firm mansion for night two. The boys hanging out, relaxing, wearing robes, talking shit, talking shop. What do you think they're doing back at the camp right now? Probably trying to uh, figure yeah. out what their next move is, maybe get comfortable. Yeah. Camp looks like it was in a little rough, it was in rough shape this morning. Uh, yeah, it was like a different camp. Like, yeah. I don't remember it looking like that. I don't the remember there were bugs. Yeah, the bugs. Yeah. Like a billion more bugs out there than there yeah, was right. the night before, so. No bugs in here, though, at the Mattress Firm Mansion. <sighs> no bugs at all. No more hay? It's like sticks. Stuff that like, will burn. We go back to the camp. We want to make a fire. We try to build one. I mean, we have the logs. They're semi dry. We know that we just have to light them to kind of dry out so they'll actually catch. I sit there, I don't, I, I pick up a twig if Sydney asked me to pick up a twig. I don't know how to fucking start a fire. So I just let her do her thing. I go, oh, there we go, there we go. That's my, that's how I, you know, help support build a fire. Smitty, Sydney, Tommy, and I all seem to be on the same page. Smitty came up with this ridiculous name, Team Constellation, because we all sleep under the stars. I was surprised Sydney wasn't here. I thought she'd be in here too. Yeah. 
the person who's won the challenge has gone like everyone votes, into the I mansion. Voted for her. Yeah. I voted for you the first time first, and then I voted for her the first time first. Yeah, that kind of makes me uneasy that I went back in here. The thing that worries me is the lone wolf has been voted off each night. Billy Football, he didn't make alliances. Bree, she didn't make alliances. I don't think anyone's talked to Sass about forming an alliance yet. Sass is just kind of out here on his own. I know you haven't made any alliances with anyone, but it could be we have to. Oh, so. yeah. Well, I, I thought there was sort of an, uh, uh, an unspoken alliance between me, you, and Bree. Yeah, so now now we're sitting ducks tomorrow, you know? Yeah, we very well could be. I mean, I think there's going to be a big, uh, I think depending on how bad the challenge is tomorrow, I mean, it's the same exact crew doing the challenges tomorrow that did them today. For sure. Yeah, yeah we're just down Bree, so it's So they be... could be pissed that they're not doing any challenges and they might want to vote us out. Yeah. I'm not feeling good. I want to be competing. I want to be hands-on. So I'm a little nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I'm tired, guys. I'm going to go to bed. Night, night. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Good night. All right. Everyone else is asleep. It means it's safe for me to go to bed as well. Can't give anyone a chance to talk about me. Jordan and I are pretty much asleep at this point, and all of a sudden, it was like the movie The Purge, and I could hear Roan's voice over a megaphone. How does that I sound? I feel sick to my stomach. Yeah, why don't you get on up? Yeah, ladies, come on, get on up. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I didn't know you wear glasses, Tommy. She's bullshit. <laughs> ladies, ladies, how are you? Smitty, there's Smitty. No bra necessary for this one. That was fully prepared for a nice, uh, long winter's nap, but nope. You just hear uh, Ronan's voice over the megaphone, conveniently hiding his Delco accent because he's a fucking fraud scumbag. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the challenge now. Why? Why not? We have a special guest that's coming in just for this challenge, and because of their pretty tight time schedule, this is the only window that they could make work. I'm just really thrown off right now. Tommy, how do you feel? Not gonna let you get yeah, my head, yeah. Adam. Even though it's the middle of the night, throw those jumpsuits on, and we're gonna head out and get to this challenge. Campers, why don't you come on down? There they are. <laughs> what is it, the uh, middle of the night, isn't it? More like good morning, brother. Well said, Tommy. Jordan, was that just a yawn? That makes sense because it is the middle of the night. Now, to bring out the folks from the Mattress Firm Mansion. Vibs? Little Sass? Oh, that's right, they're not here because they're immune and they're sleeping at the Mattress Firm Mansion, completely unjunking their sleep. Feels like you guys kind of have a junked up night of sleep going on right now, huh? Yeah. So that's very accurate, yes. Sandy, you feel a little junked up? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Well, I'm so sorry that we had to wake you up in the middle of the night. And we're only doing this so late at night because we have a very special guest and they have a very tight time schedule. Should we meet him? Let's meet him. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Look at, look at that one's mouth open. So Rowan says that he has a friend to introduce to us. Well, in reality, he pulls back the sheet and he had about uh, 35 friends to show to us. I've always had a fear of snakes. I just has been the number one, the number one fear in my life. These are nocturnal snakes. So they only stay up during the nighttime. We couldn't do this challenge during the daytime, but these guys would be asleep. 
Tommy, how's that making you feel, brother? Really, really bad. Like so incredibly bad, it's impossible to put into words. Seeing them face to face, it's another level of frightening. I saw one of those snakes go up to the top corners and, and I was like, I'm out. I almost shit my pants and quit the show and quit bars. Like that's how scary they were to look. Sydney, you're not scared of snakes. Well, I'm not really fond of snakes. Jordan, how do you feel about snakes? I hate snakes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Have you ever toyed around with a snake before? No. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if we were going to be going in the in the tranium. I didn't really know what was going to happen, but I was freaking out. I'd like to hear the rules. You'd like to hear the rules? Yeah, you know what? I'd love to hear the rules. It's a simple rope burn. Each of you will construct a fire underneath the rope, and the first one to burn through the rope wins. Only with a twist. The only way to get your little and big sticks is to dig into that pit of snakes, untie a couple knots, turn in those sticks to me, and then you'll have access to not only those, but if you choose, also some water to put out someone else's fire. What's at stake is this. If you win, you will be in the final five, and you will be determining who will go home on Barstool's most dangerous game show. Let's have some fun, folks. On my count, three, two, one, go! I mean, Randy, right off the jump. <laughs> Sydney, off to the races. Go away! I'm mean, this guy. And she's digging. He's trying to climb out. Oh, Sydney's quick. We, My snake's trying to climb out. I don't, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. Out. Out. Ah! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Sydney, <laughs> and that snake has been eliminated. Jordan, as you were. Before I even put my hand in, the snake actually came out of the hole and I thought it was gonna attack me. Um, so it wasn't really great the first time I put my hand into the tank. Sticking my hand in the snake pit for the first time is, is one of the most terrifying things I've ever done. Those were fucking serpents from my fiery bellows of Hades that you fuckers put in there. Oh, and Sydney already has dropped her small sticks and so she can bring them over to me. There we have the small sticks, I'm and you can back. use those. You have full access to them if you want to start a fire. Tommy, still nebbish. I don't think he's actually trying. Where? Oh, there they are. <laughs> First time I put my hands in there, they were just slimy. They just felt gross. I just kept looking to see, are any of them opening their mouths? Or are they going to try to bite me? Yeah, it, it was it was a disaster overall. Uh-oh, Jordan. Looks like that one's trying to go for you. And Jordan has gotten the small sticks, and maybe she's ready to start her fire with the small sticks. And now Sydney has the big sticks, and she can go start her fire if she wants to. She's got the big sticks. She's picking them very carefully. It wasn't even three hours ago, and I was trying to start a fire with my wet supplies. And now here I am again, about to start another fire. And I'm a little bit internally freaking out. I'm Barcel Outdoors. If I'm not able to win this competition, Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I'm definitely a schmuck. Meanwhile, Jordan is struggling to light a match. What? I mean, what fucking Boy Scout tied these knots? Yeah, this is fucking absurd. Those knots were tied by some sort of admiral in the Navy. Like, those were not knots. Those were fucking contraptions from hell. And I took forever to untie. Like, it, it was insane. I'm not going to be tying my shoes or untying my shoes. That's another thing I'll have to learn. The girls are absolutely kicking the guys' Tom, asses it, right it, now. It, it, it looks like it Tommy out? and Smitty are terrified. Is it out? Randy! Randy! <laughs> Smitty has his first bundle of small sticks. Randy, I'm stuck. Everything's wet. Everything is really wet. Jordan out to a quick lead. It looks like she already has a fire, a lot of smoke coming. Tommy also has a fire going. I put that out immediately. Jordan, looking like she's she knows her way around the fire a little bit. Ah! Another scream from Tommy. He's doing just enough to pretend that he's trying. There goes Jordan. Jordan looks like she might want to get some bigger sticks, perhaps, or maybe the water. And it looks like Smitty is taking it dead seriously. Ah! I went out immediately. Sydney about to strike a match for the first time. I mean, these aren't matches, they're flare guns. <laughs> flare gun? Maybe that could help you then, Smitty. Shut the fuck up, dude. Just trying to help you help yourself, brother. Thank you. Sydney looks like she has a fire started. Tommy might have actually gotten a little bit of a fire going himself as Smitty struggles with match after match. What would I rate my level of experience with uh, making and building fires? 
what is less than zero. Never build a fire on land. You're gonna put me out there with sticks and, and tinder and then and whatever the hell else we had with matches, no shot, no shot. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to build a fire no matter what. If the challenge was build a fire with matches and a blowtorch or your parents die, my parents would be dead. Ah! And Jordan has just freed up the big sticks. Smitty circling back. I mean, this white guy is just looking at me. Smitty getting eyed down by a snake. Oh, it looks like Jordan is going for her third knot to untie. This will give her the water and a chance to put out someone else's fire. Yeah, so since I knew I wasn't gonna build the fire the fastest, right away I went back to the tank. I got the rest of the supplies, then I got the water to keep next to me just in case somebody else got their fire going. How do you start a fire? Man's oldest question. I mean, Randy, they're screening the goalie. Meanwhile, Tommy's sitting like a little kid at playtime. It's a comfortable position, Roan. Jordan with some strong embers. Sydney methodical. Tommy looking goofy as ever. These big sticks are super wet. I mean, half of it's Spanish. Smitty reading the directions of the matches in Spanish. Tienes flama, Smitty? <laughs> Smitty doesn't have access to the big sticks, neither does Tommy. Here's Tommy. The, I mean, the hay is wet. I just had a nice flame, and I thought, uh-oh, don't let smokes get hot. Tommy's just useless. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a useless human being. He's on the world's most dangerous game show. This guy has never driven on the highway because he's too skip. Smitty, with a nice fire what? going right there. Oh, nice, what, Jordan? Oh, and he put out his own fire. Don't worry, oh, Jordan. Smitty, you always suffocate the fire. Smitty gave the most classic blockhead Smitty performance you can have in a challenge. He was all the way on the other end, but I just heard him getting like hit with ashes. I heard him blowing to, to God knows what. He just, Smitty's in it. Deep. Rise, Jordan! <laughs> Jordan about to use the water. Uh, I don't think I need to yet. <laughs> she doesn't think she needs to. She's back to work on her own. I'm so pissed. Smitty looked like the god of fire for a second. Crisscross applesauce. Interesting. Oh. How how's everyone else sit? Oh, they're on their they're on their knees. Smitty's candle now looks like a single birthday candle. His flame oh. now looks like a single. Oh. There it is. Smitty, a pretty serious conflagration over there. Jordan? Smitty looks like Jordan. he has a little fire going on Don't the screen. Do I all of it at once? Jordan looks like she's about Don't to. Don't you dare! It's barely even doing anything. Don't insult Jordan my once fire, again lady. backs away from Smitty's fire, saying it's not even worth her time. But is she waiting too long? Mm. I'm gonna use it when I really, really have to. He's not a threat yet. Meanwhile, Jordan has a little bit of a fire of her own going. Has Tommy lit a match yet? Yeah, it's hard. My matches are dull. I get the I get the flame and then nothing happens. How do you how do you make Tommy, a fire? Tommy, do you not want immunity? I'm confused. I want immunity. I don't know how to make a fucking fire. I've been watching Sydney do it and I just sit there and this is what I do when someone builds a fire. I say, oh, there we go. That's my contribution. I go, oh, there we go. We're getting a fire. I'm a moral support guy. Well, Sydney's got a pretty good one going right now. Oh. Maybe give her oh, a, Sydney, well, there, there we go. go. All right, Sydney, there we go. Well, oh, there we shit, go. Look at me. Well, there, there we go. go. Tommy. Oh my God. I got a fucking Mount Vesuvius. Sydney has a little bit of success with her fire. She's been working away, and she doesn't want me to talk about it. Jordan, stay over there. Sydney has a very decent flame going right now. Meanwhile, Smitty's is almost non-existent. Tommy probably getting a bunch of ticks right now. Back to the one leg folded over on the right side. And the women, once again, absolutely dominating the men. Sydney is now getting some serious flame to that rope right now. If Jordan was going to use the water, it would probably have to be now. It's but we have that. to wonder if they have some kind of alliance where she's refusing to use the water. Can you even see it hitting the rope? Oh, and now it is a little bit. Sorry, Sydney. Oh, wow. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Oh, wow. It looks like Jordan just put out Sydney's fire. Absolutely diabolical move, but there's still some remnants of a fire in there. Can Sydney bring it back to life? 
I was pissed when Jordan put the water on Sydney's fire. I wanted to go home and go to bed. I was gonna go over and throw things on Sydney's fire to help. Like, I just wanted to get out of there. And Sydney's flame is almost all the way back up and running. If anyone else wants a chance in this competition, they're gonna have to start making their fire fast. I still had a little bit of flames and I started to blow them so it would catch fire, add fresh sticks, and what do you know, before you know it, my flame was set. Tommy smokes, meanwhile, on all fours. You like this view? Tonguing down the fire. The closer you oh, get to fuck. the fire, Tommy. I got a Charlie horse. Charlie horse? Charlie horse in my left foot. Medic. Anyone got a banana? You want me to stretch you out? <laughs> yeah, you can stretch out my left foot. <laughs> Thank you. I have a cramp. And now Sydney has a cramp. Sydney, Tommy knows how to get Tommy, rid of cramps. Come yeah. help. I have a cramp. Stretch out. Stretch out the leg. Tommy, help, 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 Tommy. <sighs> help, Tommy. Oh, Tommy has so completely neglected Good. his fire. Yeah, you can tell good. these two have I'm an good. alliance. Sydney's fire is now licking the rope. It seems like small twines of the rope are already burning. Smitty trying to get back in the game. Is there enough time for him? A beautiful 18-inch flame. Shit. As Sydney looks like she's about to take care of business, unless someone else has the idea to maybe get a little bit of water and throw it on Sydney's fire again. But it seems like Tommy has a singular focus, and he wants nothing to do with those snakes. Do one of you guys want to do that? Maybe grow a pear, grab some water. I've never had a pear, and I never will. No interest in growing a pear, Smitty? I have all the pears. Is there like a breeze that I'm like missing out here that's going to the right of the freaking rope? The flames are uh -oh. dodging the rope. This might not be good. Every time you think that there's a little bit of traction on the rope, the fire gets a little bit smaller. Jordan with a little bit of a fire, and there's Smitty with a little bit of a fire himself. No one has hey, water right now. Me too. And, and Tommy almost has one. Oh, would you look at that? This is really sad. This is, this really is there it is, Sydney. Oh, nice. Damn, girl. The rope is almost engulfed in flames right now. If Sydney can see this through, this will be two straight competitions that she's won. Oh my gosh. Smitty got hit with a flashbang. Holy shit, Smitty. How is this possible? The flame is in the middle of the fire and somehow Sydney is dumbfounded. Three people do still have water. If you choose to go into the snake pit and untie one more knot, you can access water to put out Sydney's flame. Tommy Nebish doesn't even want to stick his hand in. Are you, I actually have no idea. The rope is too. almost fully on fire. And it looks like Smitty and Tommy have no interest in even grabbing the my water. My hand's in here, you liar. <laughs> I have absolutely no faith in Oh my in god, Smitty I moved a really big one. Smitty! <laughs> put your hand in the tank and grab the water! Jordan's yelling at them to grab the water. They're too big of poons to actually get the water and put their hands with the snakes. I tried to go back for a second, and that, that's when the snakes were eyeing me up. Then I saw one snap against the glass, and that was that was it for me. Sydney, I'm nervous. You'd actually deserve this because of the patheticness behind us. Tommy takes his hand out, only looking at Sydney, and there it is! Woo! And that's a second consecutive victory for Sydney Wells. I'm sweating. Snake and bake goes. <laughs> Snake to and bake. Sydney Wells. That challenge was tailor made for Sydney. I mean, snakes aside, her ability to build a fire, she was the only one there that, that could successfully do it. Felt fine with Sydney winning. To be honest with you, I think it's a good thing because the target on her back just got a little bit bigger. The fact that Sydney now has two challenge wins under her belt, it's going to be a lot easier to blindside her if I need to at some point. You two? <laughs> I don't like snakes. So right now we all have an alliance, but if that alliance goes wrong, I don't think I'm gonna be the first to go. People are gonna take Sydney out because she is literally the toughest competition. So I'm cool not winning. Well, I won again, which is good. The rest of my alliances are pretty confident that we're on the same page. And there it is. Another victory for Miss Sydney Wells. How's it feel? Feels great. I would have been very disappointed in myself if I didn't win. Jordan, was it hard to put out your bestie's fire? No, not at all. That was the easiest decision I've made so far. So she is your bestie? I didn't say that. And Sydney, you will be safe from the next elimination, and you are one step closer to this $25,000 and a mattress firm bed from the good folks over at Mattress Firm. Hey, 
Speaking of, what do you think the, the folks are doing over at the Mattress Firm Mansion? Now they're probably just sleeping over there, huh? The good news is this. You guys can scurry on back to your camp, get a little bit of rest, and then tomorrow, or no, later on today, we'll be having another elimination. And then, who knows what'll happen. How many people are getting voted into the house tomorrow? Two people will be voted into the Mattress Firm Mansion tomorrow. And you could be one of them. Or you could be going home. That's the beauty of Barstool's most dangerous game show. Now, run along, head on back to camp, get a little bit of rest, and I'll see you guys later on. Bye now. Good effort. I can't see anything. This fire is in my eyes. I think I burnt my eyeballs off with the smoke. You guys are fucking a lot braver than I ever will be. I might cry for being so tired. This isn't fair. We're gonna break. Wake us up. Wake, wake us up in the middle of the night. Wake us up early. Who's that? It makes me feel it's gonna be Vibs and Sass. Yep. So, you right, King? No, I'm pissed. You guys know what happened? Oh, you're pissed? Are you tired? What happened? Did somebody wake you up when you didn't want to be woken up? Tommy, I'm gonna fucking murder you. Because maybe in the middle of the night last night, Roan came over here with a megaphone and said, Campers, we have a nighttime challenge. Nah, that did not happen. Yeah, no, absolutely did. Vibs and Sass had no idea that we had a challenge night before. We told them, Vibs didn't believe us. He was like, why are they making up this elaborate lie? I thought the entire camp invented some story to make Little Sass and I believe that a whole different strategy was going on. Look at me. Look at me. Vibs. I'm so tired. I can't function right What? Now. Okay, what was the challenge? We had to put our hands into a terrarium of snakes, untie knots, drop wood, what? Twigs, water, and then we had to build a fire. First person to build a fire. Oh, one. It, like build a fire and then like, cut burn the fire, rope. burn the rope in half. Sydney was the only one that was able to build. A fire. Sydney won so Without easily. The if there were no snakes, I don't think I would have been able to build a fire. <laughs> and my parents' life depended on it. <laughs> Holy shit! I am so happy I did not have to do that. If I had to be woken up out of my precious sleep in my mattress firm mattress, I would be furious. Being in the mansion is great, but I just feel I feel disconnected. I feel like I feel like the camp has been going 100 miles an hour. And little sass and I. We're just relaxing in robes. I didn't expect to win two in a row, but I mean, I'm kind of glad I won that challenge because then maybe that would be kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Is sending someone home going to be easier after you've done it once? No. Or is it going to be harder? It's harder. Yeah. No. I would honestly did not expect to win this next challenge. I'm nervous because I've been sitting in the house. I don't know what they're talking about at camp. And I feel like if I go back into the house another night, I'm going to for sure go home if I don't go home tonight. All right, so who wants to stay in the house tonight? I think Smitty does with you. I mean, Smitty would be great together. He like doesn't care because he hasn't had a chance to sleep there yet. Who knows, after tonight, he might not even get the chance. Well, we put people in the house first, so. True, that is true. <laughs> I think we will. Um, babes, what are you thinking? Yeah, I feel a little out of touch. Sass and I miss the challenge, the snake challenge. Yeah, we could be out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Good chance of that, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna talk to Sydney. See where where she's at. Okay, so obviously Fibs trust you and Tommy. Like you guys have like an alliance, quote unquote. Seemingly, yes. I'm like struggling, wondering if we should do a wild card, send Fibs back into the house, eliminate Tommy. I don't want Tommy in the final, but I also don't want Jordan. Because I think Jordan's very very good. Even I need to talk to Sydney because I have no idea where she's at. I don't really trust anyone at this point. Trust your best friend in the game? Best friend stab you in the back a lot. Remember, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. She could be doing that to me. I think we get to the final four with us four and then worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna talk to everybody and then like, how about we yeah. circle back? Sydney, I think she's getting a little power hungry, winning two challenges in a row. Uh, she confided in me that Vibs, who was initially on the chopping block tonight, might not be the play. It in fact might be one of our own stars in the constellation. So my gut is telling me to put off Bibs. Okay. But it's like, you hear everybody say like, Tommy's a snake, Tommy's a snake, Tommy's a snake. So like, he's on my radar where I'm like, should we throw the 
throw out like a wrench in the system. I respect you taking out Tommy as long as you feel like you have Smitty and Vips' trust. I feel like Smitty, I just go talk to Vips because I think that's, I mean, sass is like a, sass is sass. So if you eliminate Tommy, is our new alliance just me, you, and Smitty, and we could keep Vips on the outside? Well, I wouldn't talk, I would want to talk to Vips too because he would have to compete and be like, we don't want sass to win. Like he mm -hmm. could easily be council's favorite. So I don't know, I just want to talk to Vips. I think that's going to be an important conversation. Tommy would be so blindsided. Cindy decided to throw a curveball at us and thought maybe she wanted to vote Tommy out instead of Vibs. If Sydney sticks to the plan, we're guaranteed final four. Everything's gonna be great. All right, so both of us talk with Sydney? Yeah. Okay. So. I think if she actually eliminates Tommy tonight, it puts us all, us all at risk. I do think like you, Jordan, and Tommy are like competitors. Tommy Smokes is a competitor. He can, he's, you saw him in the bug drinking challenge. Like he can shut his brain off and just will himself to win. She eliminates Tommy that night. I think like genuinely Vibs would vote her off. Yeah. Next. I obviously didn't vote you off right. yesterday because I did trust you and I trusted mm -hmm. you the first day when you won. I get that I'm a threat, but I, I wouldn't eliminate you if that, you know what I mean? Okay, So as long as I have yeah. your word on that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I want her to vote Vibs off but I don't know if she's gonna listen. When we talked, she, that's the way she was leaning. When we talked, she was leaning the other way. She was leaning Tommy? Yeah. Okay, well, if I have your word, then that, yeah. yeah, I mean. Are you gonna go for Tommy? I'm thinking about it, yeah. We are guaranteed a spot in the final four with six to the Yeah, okay, we need to talk to her. So what are you thinking? Oh, I think that you're gonna be in the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a given. Like, I'm I'm torn right now. How many people are you between? Two. So I I'm think... I'm assuming, what, Tommy and Vibs? Yeah. I would say Vibs is probably the closest person that will come to beating you in the challenges. Tommy's going to play very strategic. No one even knows where he is right now. Well, that's true. <laughs> Any plan can go wrong. Anytime I'm away from camp, I worry people are plotting against me, that Vibs or someone's making a ploy against me. Now, like, talking to Vibs, like, I think... What we could do is definitely vote off Tommy. I hate giving people the opportunity to talk about me. Even now when I have to go do these testimonials, I'm like, uh-oh, people are talking about me. I'm getting rid of Tommy like sooner than later, but if we still need Tommy to whittle it down to that end, like use his villain <coughs> snakeness as much as we can. Everybody kind of fucking hates me. They're not gonna let me win again. Tommy's the bad guy right now. Yeah. Everyone thinks he's the fucking mastermind. He'll be the first person I vote off. He'll be the first person Smitty votes off. He'll be the first person you vote off in the final four. I know everybody wants me out. I know I'm the big bad wolf. Today I'm gonna talk to Sydney, make sure we're still good with the plan. And I'm also gonna start to pitch myself as, hey, I'm someone you wanna sit next to at the end. Yeah, I think we're good. I think she, I think the plan will stay intact. You know, it worries me a little that they said Sydney's getting cold feet. Vibs had a good talk with her, painted me as a threat. All right, should I go talk to Sydney? Yeah, go talk to her. I had a really good idea what I was going to do. Um, and then my amigos, I could see the panic. Like If I did stick with my lines, I will for sure go to the Final Four. But I don't want to go to the Final Four. I want to win. Can we talk, Sydney? Yeah, I want to talk. Come over here. So I'm trying to play my cards right here. I'm starting to lose a little bit of trust in the game. Here's my perspective. I know Vibs probably had a long talk with you and was yeah. like, tick me out. The thing is, I, I trust you. Like That's why it's so hard here, for me to ever take you. Here are a few reasons you should not take me out tonight. One, trust, I've not betrayed you, yeah. and I will not. Vibs is a bigger threat in challenges than me. I screech a lot. Uh, yeah. If it's something screamish, I won't be as good. And honestly, the main reason, nobody is gonna let me win this again. Like, all jokes aside, I'd like to get to the end just for myself. Brianna literally said last night, she's like, I'd vote for Smitty over Tommy. No, I'd vote for Vibs over Tommy. Billy Football hates me. He tells me to fuck off every time. Sass, I don't think, will vote for me just as a troll to troll me. I cannot win if I get to the end. Yeah. Vibs will win. I just wanna make sure like if it's us four in the top. I would think it's an, also in my best interest to go with you and Jordan. Smitty is gonna bring out that picture of his baby. He's gonna pitch this sob story about why he should win. I don't want Smitty at the end. Like I, I think me, you, and Jordan is the, the best three. I trust right. you and I'd like to be at the end with you and that you can shake my hand on that. Okay, I believe you. All right, let's do it. I can never totally, totally, totally trust that, oh my God, these people are actually falling for it again. Tommy is a threat just because he's so manipulative. I can't talk to people as well as Tommy Smokes can and manipulate the game. Vibs is clearly the second most capable person at the camp. Sydney 
trusts me more than she trusts Tommy Smokes. I think she's getting a little cocky. She's been winning every challenge and I think she, she needs to be more strategic. She should stick to the plan because without the plan, there's utter chaos. It's gonna get pretty uh, crazy tonight at elimination. Whoever gets eliminated, it's not personal, but it had to be done. Why don't you come on down, friends? So good to see all of you again. There she is, Sydney. And Jordan, what an absolute treat. There's Tommy, Tommy Smokes, and little Sasquatch, looking tall today. Vibs, and of course, everyone's favorite, Smitty. Wow, what an absolute pleasure. Taking that seat. Welcome all to a rainy night here at the Elimination Arena, and we have a lot of business to attend to. For a second night in a row, Sydney is exempt and will be sending someone home. Before that, we need to make sure that we're gonna vote two more people to stay in the Mattress Firm Mansion this evening. But first, there's some dialogue that we need to have. Sydney, why don't we start with you? Another day as the victor, and how do you feel? To be honest, I don't want to be in this position. I feel uneasy and unsure. Everyone's being a little too nice to you? Yeah, we've had a lot of conversations, a lot of talking, going back and forth at camp. So what actions are you going to take tonight? I'm not sure yet. What do you mean? I'm just wanting the night to play on and then see how it goes. So does that mean that during the conversations we're about to have, you could find out who you're sending home? Yes. Smitty, what's your take, Ben, of uh, what's going on at the camp? And have you gotten to a point where you kind of want a good night's rest? Yeah, it's three straight nights where I've been at the camp. And uh, as much as I love my camp brethren from Billy and Bree all the way through the current uh, inmates of the camp, I would like to unjunk my sleep at the Mattress Firm Mansion. So do you think that this is you now making a bid to stay in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight? I wouldn't say it's a more, it's more of a demand to stay at the Mattress Firm Mansion. Wow, do you think everyone is willing to meet that demand for you? They all get to vote. It's not up to them. It but is, it is. It's, it's a thousand percent up to us. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly how it works. I have a question for all four of you at the camp. Who's in charge of the camp? God. And after her? God. And after him? God. It's interesting because tonight feels different than the other eliminations so far. It feels like everybody kind of has a shot of being on the chopping block. And Sydney has a lot of power in her hands. What's factoring into who you're going to eliminate? Who's most dangerous in this game? Who I could see as a potential threat? Of the five people sitting here, how many have you considered to send home? Right now, I'm down to two. You have two people and you're deciding among them right now? Yes. And what's gonna help you make up your mind? I'm not sure, that's what I'm waiting to find out. Is it loyalty? Do you want loyalty from someone? Of course, loyalty is big. Um, going in deeper into this competition, I wanna be here at the end and that is loyalty. Vibs, you had a chance really early on to send anyone home that you wanted. When you're looking at the game right now, would you have sent someone else home? At the first elimination, uh, I think Billy Football was the immediate threat. And now I think the biggest threat in the game is Tommy Smokes. Tommy, how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I get that Vibs is gonna say that. We've both been mentioned on the chopping block today, so we both have to, you know, paint each other as, as the bigger threat and the better play for Sydney to keep. Why do you think you wound up on the chopping block? I think Vibs uh, pitched me to Sydney to go on the chopping block. I think obviously there's been a target on me from the beginning. But you know, what I told Sydney is, I think she has to think about one, who's loyal to her and been loyal to her. I've shown that throughout the game. And two, who can she beat at the end? Um, I have two people sitting over there that have almost said with 100% certainty they will not vote for me at the end. Are you pitching yourself to her as a loser? I'm Are you saying my, that you're I'm easy pitching to myself beat? as a likely loser? I think, you know, in real life, uh, I don't like to think I'm a loser. Tommy's best defense is acting defenseless. And that's what he's doing right now. He's playing the game. He's a salesman, he's great at it. And it comes down to, do you think the challenges are more important or do you think the numbers and the relationships you're creating are more important? Jordan, of everyone on the show, you're closest with Sydney. What do you think she's thinking? Honestly, I have no idea what she's thinking. 
We haven't talked much today, so I am gonna be just as surprised as everyone else when she eliminates somebody. I mean, I will say I saw Sydney and Jordan talking for like three hours. All right, Sass. So why do you think they're acting like they didn't? I don't didn't... know, I don't know. I just had to say, I was like, I, well, they were talking for a really long time. Like, why would they lie about that? I don't know. I just had to get that out there. No, I'll we say, all talked to I'll Sydney. Say, I'll say, like, I talked to everybody, yeah. including Sass. For, good, like... for a quick three minutes, well, max. <laughs> that was your choice, but okay. I don't think anybody knows what my decision is. When someone gets voted off, they will be joining Billy right over here on the council with Bree. And they will have a vote towards the end of the game, but their chance at winning $25,000 will be out the window. A ton is at stake. And I think it's time that we start voting. So Sydney, why don't you go ahead and Take a little walk down to the Maison du Danger, the House of Danger, Sass, and cast your vote. Smitty, who do you think is on the chopping block right now? Sydney said there were two names. I legitimately think any one of the five of us could be those two names. Vibs? I think it's me and Tommy. Little Sass, who are you going to vote for since you can't vote for yourself? I'm not gonna tell you that. I guess I'm gonna have to find out when I watch the show. Yeah, you will. Bitch. Tommy, what do you think about Lil Sass's strategy of staying in the mattress for a mansion? Uh, it's interesting. A lot of people today are like, you know, hey, Sydney, don't vote me out, don't vote me out. Sass is just like, you guys are putting me back in that mansion, right? That's, that Sass has a one track mind. It's to be in that mattress for a mansion every night. Last night, there was a feisty exchange between Miss Brianna Chicken Fry and Jordan. She said that Jordan was getting played like a puppet by Sydney. Vibs, is that true? No, I think those two are allies. I think they're both in cahoots. Sydney, what are Tommy's worst qualities as a teammate? I'm not answering that. If you think you're smarter than Tommy, you're wrong. He's smarter than all of us. I think he is smart, yeah. I'm not, not to be insulting, but yours is outdoors, his is being a strategist for Survivor. That's all he does is watch Survivor. Vibs, maybe you want to go make a vote. Tommy, it seems like Vibs has been on the offensive. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it from Vibs. What I said to Sydney earlier is like, this is the first time Vibs has talked to Sydney like all game is when he needs her the most. What are the vibes like with Smitty? Smitty might be the biggest X factor here because he's competing for diapers and formula. His kid had his first steps while he was here. Is that true? Yeah. Oh my god. Saw the video. Beautiful. We all cried. Well, everybody has cast their votes. So now it's time for me to go down and find out which two people will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight and which two people will be immune from Sydney's elimination. The votes have been counted. The die has been cast. And now we know who will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight and thus immune from elimination. So why don't we go right down the line. Jordan, you will not be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Tommy, you will not be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Smitty, why don't you switch places with Vibs? Smitty, tonight you will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion for a night of unjunk sleep. Sydney, you'll be staying at camp. And Sass, you'll be remaining in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. So now, all eyes are on Sydney. Sydney, are there any questions that you have for anyone? I've talked a lot tonight. I've heard a lot. I think I made my decision and just it was a tough one for tonight. Vibs, is there anything you want to say to Sydney? Any last minute case that you want to plead to her? I thought I could leave Tommy in the game and get rid of him later. I made a mistake. You play with fire, you're going to get smoked. I hope you don't make that same mistake. That was just a good ass line. It's a good <laughs> line. <laughs> yeah. But to defend that, people get smoked when People come for me. People I give my word to, like Sydney, I trust, they trust me, and we go far together. That's been the case since day one. That will continue to be the case after tonight. Well, 
Sydney, why don't you stand up and let everybody know what you're thinking. Look whoever you're going to send home in the eye and bury them right there underneath that fire. Vibs and Tommy, I talked to you guys a lot today. Tommy, I trust you. I know everybody says you're a snake in the house. I'm not really afraid of snakes. I know they bite, I'm not afraid. Vibs, I think you're a strong competitor. I am intimidated by you in the competition. Sorry, Tommy, but I, like you said it yourself, I'm not as um, threatened by you. I'm going to vote off Vibs. Vibs, are you frustrated right now with how everything went down? I wish I would have been able to compete more in the challenges. I didn't like being in the house and just having to sit on the sidelines. That kind of sucked. But I'm happy with how I played the game. What was your strategy? I let Tommy live because I thought a lot of the heat would go to Tommy. But Tommy did what he does, and he made his strategies and talked, and I learned my lesson. What does Tommy do? Wins. Tommy, how's it feel to hear that from Vibs, somebody who you've admitted is a strong competitor? Vibs is a strong competitor. He wins a lot, too. I have a lot of respect for Vibs. Vibs, unfortunately, your time in Barstool's most dangerous game show has come to a close. You will be joining Billy and Bree on the council, and you will have a vote come the end of the game on who will win Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm. But for now, toodaloo, my friend. See you, everybody. Thank you. Hi, Vibs. A standing ovation from a troop. Billy football. And there it is, five competitors left as we near the end of Barstool's most dangerous game show at the Mattress Firm Mansion. Lil Sass and Smitty will be staying for a night of unjunk sleep. Going back to the camp will be Sydney, Jordan, and Tommy. A lot of strategy still to come. A lot of game left to play and $25,000 on the line. You two, head back to the Mattress Firm Mansion for another night of unjunk sleep. You three, head on back to the camp, and we'll see you tomorrow for more of Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show. Farewell. On the next episode of Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show. I don't like those coyotes. I don't like those coyotes yet. Team Constellation was formed out of chaos. The fact that Tommy is still in this is insane. Guys, come on in! Seeing the challenge for the first time, I wanted to shit my pants. I'm instantly anxious. Ooh, this is a little bit more scary. What? Next thing you know, the gate's closing. They're telling me just control your breathing, control your breathing. <laughs> you get me out?